look pretty much with, I'm thinking, a pop of red eyeliner, but I'm not sure. So if you want to see this video, stay tuned and keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Like if you like my dog. He's like, hug me, mom. Another thing I'm going to do is my foundation last because I feel like I will get a lot of fallout with this. Um, and yeah, so. The Kat Von D palette here and uh, I'm going to use this really black color. And I'm going to use my finger because I find it's way easier to pack on a color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just get a lot on there because it's going to be black. So all I'm doing here is packing it on with my fingers so I can get a really dark black. Um, I ended up talking a lot in this, so I'm just speeding it up to keep things rolling along. But that's basically all I'm doing right here and cleaning up the edges a little bit. And that's pretty much all you need to do. and if I don't like how the lines are and I want to straighten anything up I'll take a wet makeup wipe and I'll just do that and if you want you can do tape there so that way it's easier but like so you don't have to go back and do this if you don't feel comfortable it's gonna wipe my brow bone which seems a little weird but it's it's just up a little bit too far for mine and then once I go in with the lighter color there, it will blend in and it won't look like, just like a sticker, like, like it looks now. All I did was add a little bit more black and do the same, just blend, blend, blend. So I'll just blend this harsh line out before and then I'll go back in with the light. dark color on and I'm just gonna grab any white not white maybe creamish white and use it on my brow bone just use this under the Kat Von D palette again this upper nudie peach and again it might cancel some of the darkness of your black so you may have to go back in look looks like before you have foundation and your eyebrows on and stuff it just looks awful and then it kind of all comes together at the end you know we can go in and we can do the foundation. It's this NYX HD concealer, and this is like uh, in the color CW11, and it's kind of a whitish uh, lavender. And I just like to put it under my eyes, you know? They say it says to cancel out whatever purple cancels out. I think it's red. It's redness. So, but I just use it because it's so light underneath my eyes. I'm almost running out, so I need to buy more, but I really like this stuff. Didn't last that long, though. Where am I? Oh my color match. I think I'll just pick another one of these cheap ones up just because I'm running out of this too and I'll be dark soon because summer's coming. Um, so this is what I use right now for my color and it's in porcelain. <laughs> so I'm a little porcelain. called Jade. It's pure press be I don't remember my mom got this at the spa place and I just I don't know. I think it's called Jade. I don't know. <laughs> so it's gonna darken that up a bit. And I always do this and it looks dark over top but it always works so don't worry if it looks crazy right now it works. And it gives me a little color instead of looking like a Pasty pastersons. <laughs> Back to cloudy, I should say. Okay. 
we contour a little using this and this hula. People think, oh, that's a big brush to contour with, but like, I love it because I don't contour my cheeks crazily, intense. I just wing it. If I really wanted them like snatched, I would use a littler brush and I'd do more precise, but I honestly like doing it because my animals are crazy. They hear anything and they go psycho. So I'm gonna use this. This is the Makeup Forever. It's almost gone that I have the powder of it. Uh, it broke and it was just a mess. Yeah, so it's Makeup Forever HD. And I just pat it on the sides. If I want it more dramatic, I honestly just wet the brush with Fix. I call everything Fix Plus even though it's not, but with the makeup uh, setting spray. Alright, my lips, I need to wipe those off because they're pasty right now, so. Okay, so, eyebrows. It's so funny to think back in the day, I never drew in my eyebrows just until like literally two years ago maybe, not even. It was just this, I was like, done, and then I didn't, I didn't care. So, I'm going to do my eyebrows quickly. I'm not going to do them on camera because honestly, I do them the same. If you want a video of them, look back at any of my videos and I normally will do with them in there. It's just filling them in. I don't even hardly make a shape. I just fill them in with this e.l.f. little duo here. And just use the powder. That's it. So, let's save some time and just do it on my own. I've done this in previous videos before where I use the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks to do eyeliner and stuff, but I love it. It's so pretty, and I'm going to use this one, and this one is in Red Rum. It's my one of my favorite other than Unicorn Blood. I only have a couple of Jeffree Stars, but they're great, the ones I have, and I need to order more. I definitely, definitely will. If I can find my girl listen. I am the messiest beauty girl you will ever did see. I ain't even kidding. I, I can never find anything. Found it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's 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 make sure this is clean. It's just a little use my forehead as back. A uh, little little liquid liner brush or a we close enough? I hope so. that I don't know how they're gonna look but they're from BH Cosmetics I got them when I got something in the mail they sent that I ordered and um, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see how these go I feel like this look just needs some sort of lashes feel as soon as it good adjust if I'm gonna yeah see I have really small eyes so I'm gonna need to cut those can you see me it's getting darker this look has been taking like freaking an hour have on D again, girl! This orange right here. And I've said in a million videos, I can't wear eyeliner, so it messes up a lot of my looks when I really want to do water, like, eyeliner on my waterline. I just, I can't. I'm allergic. I've tried many different ones. I used to be able to use the Alme, um... This one I used to be able to use is Alme eyeliner, the like super high allergenic one. Can't use it anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the hunt for stuff that I can use, but it just automatically, if I wear it within 20 minutes, uh, I sound like I have a cold. My eyes won't stop crying. They get all red and bloodshot and until I wipe it off. And then even like for like three hours after I wipe it off, I'm still like, my eyes feel like really sleepy and like they hurt. Just do a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna use the highlighter that I used on my cheeks for my inner corners of my eye, and I'm just gonna use a little bit of uh, makeup setting spray to kind of wet it to make it brighter. And um, do this fast. look I'm just going to put a glossy lip gloss on just I feel like it's fitting I 
hope you guys liked this look, and if you did, subscribe, like.